Hello and welcome to Candid Moments with myself, Sophia. This week's topic, we're talking about using past experience to shape your future. Every Friday at 12 o'clock, I always share candid moments about things that have happened in my life and that I feel that could benefit and help you in your life and your business life. You can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube at 50 Savvy Women. And leave a comment below or any questions you may have on this week's Candid Moments. I love hearing your comments and your feedback, and I love answering them as well. So feel free to share anything about this week's topic. How do past experience influence our future? Scientists now know that some brain processes we use to remember the past can also help us to plan for our future and imagine different possible scenarios. You can overwrite your past with new experiences and form better memories to recall in the future. Even the most positive of people have self-doubt. And this is why I always say, how can it really help us? How can we look at using past experience to help us with our future endeavors? So how can past experience shape you to who we are today? This helps many scholars says our experiences do shape us and who we are and our memories of those experiences are equally as important. A seemingly unimportant experience may simply change how we feel one day, which can cause a chain of reactions of how you act as on any certain day. And how you can act on that day could affect your life as well on a whole. How can your past experiences help you? Past experiences can have an impact on how we view life and our general outlook to life. Learn how we can view our past and change our patterns to make our future brighter. I know this from experience myself that using past experiences that have happened to me has shaped me to be the businesswoman and a mum and grandmother today. Even though I had a raw upbringing, as in such that I envisioned, I used that to make a positive outlook to my life. So all of my past experience, be it negative, I've always switched to be in it positive, which has shaped me to be the person I am today. So why is past experiences important? It's invaluable for complex decision-making. Brain research shows. They show that learning from experiences actually change the way our brains work so that we can quickly categorize what we are seeing and making a decision or carrying out is an appropriate action to take. What impact does um, past experience have on our personality? Because the recognition and memories of life experiences might influence our thoughts, feelings, behaviors, and according to personality traits, um, Mac Adams and Palms, 20, 2006, Robert and, Roberts and Wood, 2006, they said attachment security might function as a moderator of effect of your life experiences. So how can past, present, and present experiences shape your future possibilities? They start by pointing out that your ability to envision the future is strongly influenced by your memory for the past. That is, you tend to use memories of past experiences to predict, to predict what your life will be like in the future. It is easier to use your memories when your future you are future thinking of your future and you are predicting it to close in time. The challenge with talking about the past experiences is that you usually don't want to get too personal too quickly with anyone. When you're talking to someone, it be a membership group, be it clients or anyone, you don't want to keep on talking or harping on your past experience. Many people use this to project into their audiences to show, yes, I, I was, I came up and this is the bad things that happened to me and look at who I am now. But is that the way to go? 
sometimes you have to look at past experience as a positive thing that are lessons that you have learned and try to use those lessons to make you a better person, to also help your audience understand who you are. I know many things that have affected me through life has helped my audience to see that with my past experiences had no real lasting impact, despite it was part of my past. I've used that and turned it around to be a positive action. <clears throat> so how can your past experience be relevant to your, your business role? If you're out there looking for a job, you can use your past experience on roles that you've previously taken and to carry that forward into the new role. You can review your experiences and your similarities with that role or the business that you're trying to develop. Demonstrate that you are the expert in your field. Demonstrate that you have done your research. Choose one and two examples to demonstrate who you are as a person if you're running a business to showcase that you are that person. Yes, that was my past, but it shaped me to be this person today. Use that to your advantage, but do it in a positive way. Highlight specific accomplishments that you have achieved, even though you've had a positive or negative past. Recent experience are also good. Keep, when you're talking to people, keep it short and to the point. Don't go on about how th this past experience had a detrimental effect on me or this was a positive past experience. Keep it short and sweet, even if you're interviewing as well. Make sure you stay confident and be assuring to your audience as well or the person that you are applying for that job with and say, you know, this is my past experience and this is what I can carry forward and how it will shape their business or how it will shape your business. Remember, past experiences is not always negative. They are positive as well. So use your past experience to your advantage and make sure that you use it wisely as well. So some questions for you. How's your past helped your present? What would you change in your past, if anything? And do you think the past was a positive or negative to, that shaped your future? I'd love to hear your answers in the comments below. So please feel free to share. Don't forget to reach out to us. Um, you can contact us on info at savvywomen.co.uk or visit our website to book a free consultancy with myself at savvywomen.co.uk. You can reach us on all of our social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and also LinkedIn at 50 Savvy Women. Tune in next week where I'll be talking about Rebel with No Course. Remember, you can reach out to us via email for a free discovery call. If you need any information about property investment, start, start in a property saving kitty or working at your property budget, feel free to reach out to us. I look forward to sharing more candid moments with myself, Sophia, next week.